Very often, in photos that are taken in a hurry to capture the moment, unnecessary elements are present. They can be reframed by using a special tool in image editing applications. Such a tool is available in the free Paint.net application, which we will introduce you to in this tutorial. But, in addition to it, we'll also show how to reduce the size of a photo that's too large to send as an attachment or upload to some platform. There are two problems in this photo. The first one is too much space at the top, which is not carrying any information. The second one is the presence of part of a teacher's body in the frame on the right side. In order to keep only part of the photo in the frame, it is necessary to mark that part first. That's how it works. From the tool panel, select the first one on the top left. This is the rectangular selection tool. It is used to outline the part that should remain of the photo. If this outline is not accurate, it can be repeated or changed using the Change Selection tool. This is the button with the white arrow on the toolbar. When this selection button is pressed, guides appear in the corners and middles. By dragging these guides, the selection is changed. To crop the rest of the photo outside the selection, the crop button is selected from the bar below the menu. Cropping can also be done with a non-standard shape that frames a certain part of the image. Here is how it's done. From the toolbar, the menu selection button is selected, which is located below the rectangular selection one. The mouse pointer is used to enclose the leaf that should remain in the image. The crop button is selected. Sometimes it is necessary to resize a picture, that is to reduce its weight and height. Doing so will also reduce the size of the file in which it is stored. The loaded panorama photo has a file size of nearly 8 megabytes. The size in white and height is 4467 by 2026 pixels. To resize the image, the resize command is selected from the image menu. There are two resizing options here. The first one is for a percentage size reduction. After entering the number, the new photo dimensions are automatically displayed at the bottom of the window. At the top opposite, new size is the expected file size to be obtained. Here we have to make a small but important clarification. This file size if using a file format that has no image compression. However, most image file formats have compression and the actual file size will be much smaller. The second way of resizing is by entering numeric values for the white and height, or just one of them. If maintain aspect ratio is checked, then when a value is entered for the white, the height is automatically recalculated to maintain the proportion between the two values. If this checkbox is unchecked, the two fields can be entered independently. This option is not recommended for use as this distorts the image. This is especially noticeable in human figures. They become either very thin or short and fat. These are the basic steps to crop and resize an image in Paint.net. Thank you for your attention.